What's going on, everybody? DJ Graham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Sub Dubs, baby. Hashtag Farm Sub Dubs. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new Cavernland Vicon Equipment Pack DLC. We're going to go over how much it costs, everything that's coming with it, and everything that you need to know about this new DLC. Let's check it out. Today, Giants announced the next DLC for Farming Simulator 19, the Cavernland and Vicon Equipment Pack, which will be available to all players of Farming Simulator 19, PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and even Google Stadia players can enjoy this DLC releasing on June 16th, 2020, and will cost $14.99 USD. The Cavernal and Vicon Equipment Pack will expand Farming Simulator 19 with an extensive collection of tools and machinery by the international agricultural equipment manufacturer Cavernland Group. And in this video, we are going to take a look at each one in detail. First up, we have the Gavernland 2500 iPlow. This is going to be found in plows. It needs 165 horsepower to run and has a working width of 2.5 meters. This is also the plow that can be converted with a cultivator. Next is the Gavernland Enduro Pro 5000F. This is a cultivator. It is going to require 240 horsepower and has a working width of 5 meters. Next up, we have the Gavernland Turbo 8000T Cultivator. This is going to require 400 horsepower and has a working width of 7.7 meters. Moving into Cedars, we have the Cavernland E-Drill Maxi. Of course, this is going to be found in Cedars. Requires 130 horsepower, has a working width of 3 meters, and a tank capacity of 2,000 liters. The next Cedar is the Cavernland DF2 and NGS101 F35. These are going to be found in Cedars. Require 260 horsepower and has a working width of 6 meters. Next, we've got a tank, the Cavernland DF2 Front Hot. Hopper is going to be found in Cedars and has a capacity of 1,650 liters. Continuing along, we have the Kvernland DG2 12,000 Cedar. It's going to require 230 horsepower, has a working width of 12 meters, and a tank capacity of 6,000 liters. Moving into planters, we have the Kvernland Optima RS Planter. This is going to require 180 horsepower, has a working width of 9 meters, and a tank capacity of 2,720 liters. This may be one of the things I'm looking for to the most. And rounding out the planters we have the cavernland monopile e-drilled 224 this can be found in planters requires 145 horsepower has a working width of 12 meters and a tank capacity of 1000 liters moving into crop protection we have the cavernland i extra 1100 comfort this is going to be found in crop protection and has a tank capacity of 1100 liters this is going to be for liquid fertilizer and herbicide next is the cavernland i extra b18 this is going to be found in crop protection has a working width of 18 meters to 28 meters and has a tank capacity of 1800 liters. This will be, once it is released, the largest three-point attachment sprayer that we have in the game. And your last sprayer, we have the Cavernland iX-Track T4 in crop protection, has a working width of 18 meters all the way up to 40 meters, and has a tank capacity of 4,600 liters. We have one fertilizer spreader coming with this DLC. We have the Cavernland Extra TLX Geo Spread. Goodness gracious, heck of a name. This is going to be found in fertilizer technology, has a working width of 24 meters all the way up to 45 meters which will make this the largest spreader in the game once it is released and has a capacity of 3,900 liters. This is going to be your solid fertilizer. We have a couple mowers coming with this DLC pack as well. First, we have the Vicon Extra 732 FT. This is going to be found in mowers. Has a brand option of Cavernland or Vicon. Required power of 80 horsepower and a working width of 3.2 meters. This is a front mower. And we've got a butterfly mower for you. The Vicon Extra 7100T. This is going to be found in mowers. Can be changed over to a Cavernland if you want it to be. Required power of 200 horsepower and a working width of 10.2 meters is going to be a very, very large mower. And your last mower coming with this DLC, we have the Cavernland 4140L. This is going to be found in mowers. Has a required horsepower of 85 horsepower and a working width of 4 meters. Continuing through grass work, we have the Cavernland 85112 Tether. This is a bad boy right here. It's going to require 90 horsepower and has a working width of 11.2 meters, making it the largest three-point attachment tether that we're going to have in the game. We also have a windrow coming with this DLC, the Vicon Andex 1304 Pro. This is going to be found in windrowers, has a uh, 110 horsepower rating and has a 12.5 meter working width. We do have one baler coming with this DLC, the Vicon Fast Bale. This can be found in baling technology, can also be changed over to a Cavernland 
and has a required power of 150 horsepower. This is a round baler with wrapper, and in real life, this round baler can continue to work without stopping. I wonder if it's going to be the same thing in Farm Sim 19. And the last piece of equipment coming with this DLC, we have a bell wrapper. We have the Cavernland 7850. This is going to be found in baling technology, and you can change this over to a Vicon brand as well. This DLC is compatible with the Giants Windows version of Farming Simulator 19, also the Steam and Epic Game Store as well, and the Mac OS X version, which is the Farming Simulator Giants version, or the Mac App Store version of Farm Sim 19 you will need update 1.6 or higher to use this DLC. If you want to pre-order this DLC, I will have a link in the description below for PC and Mac players, and that link does go to help support the channel. The Cavernland Vicon Equipment Pack is the second of three DLCs planned for Farming Simulator 19 in the year 2020 and follows the release of the Borgo DLC, which has been available since March 10th, 2020. Meaning, we have one more DLC planned for this year. I wonder what it could be. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss anything here on the channel. With all that being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!